Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So you can see I'm still on my Encanto theme. Uh, this is gonna be Isabel. And you know, I made Maribel, she's behind me somewhere. Oh, there she is. You can see the bottom of her skirt. Um, I made Maribel at 48 inches. I think for this one, I'm gonna stick to just 30 inches and we're gonna try to do some really fun things. I wanna incorporate somehow making this sleeve more like lace, which might be a problem because um oh yeah that might be a problem because <laughs> originally i was gonna maybe use lace but that actually needs to be that kind of color no let me think about this let me think about this okay i got it we're gonna make her 30 inches we're gonna try to really incorporate um like more 3d embellishments so i want to do the lace i really want to add like flowers instead of these stars so i'm you know we'll see what we can do uh all right so if you haven't subscribed already please do and thank you for joining me on this crafting journey so all right let's get started and make her 30 inches and I was thinking out loud, I literally just downloaded this file. This is from the Salty Yankee. So if you want to follow along, she makes amazing files. Um, I also use the Salty Yankee for Maribel and then also for a couple of my other off the map custom ones where I asked her to actually design it. So um, yeah, so she's great. The Salty the the salty yankee.com okay so at 30 inches i feel like we should be pretty good with all our measurements like nothing well actually this might look this looks a little big we'll see how big the the dress is okay so let's um make this a little bit smaller so that we don't have to keep um, moving our screen around let's ungroup this whole thing and see what we have in terms of the dress so let's contour this dress. Uh, let's hide all and see how big that skirt is. So this skirt, oh, it is big. 10 inches by 18 inches. Um, I mean, we can easily continue this cut up here and make these panels or you can join me and use 12 by 24 cardstock. So um, I'm gonna do it at the end to show you how I would cut this up if I'm using 12 by 20, 12 by 12 cardstock, okay? Because, um, let me think about this. Yeah, let's do that. So let's make this assuming that it's super easy, okay? So let's show all again. And oh, these little, okay, we're gonna have to see how this works. Not looking, not looking all that promising right now. <laughs> Looks like a lot of details that I wasn't prepared for. Okay, the arms, the arms are good. Seven inches by nine inches, we're good there. Let's see what else. Um, her eyes, okay, her face. Face. Let's see. So she's 30 inches, right? Oh, what is this? Oh, her hair is a separate piece. Okay. All right. Um, so it looks like it's in two, it's in a couple pieces. So let's go to contour and see what we have. Okay. So she split it up like that. Okay. So let's duplicate this. I'm going to contour. So the reason why I made three copies of this is because this hair is in three pieces. It's got one, two, and three. Okay, so that's why I did that. So let's go to contour and let's hide everything that leaves us the long piece. And it's three inches by 14 inches. I'm wondering... Oh! We can cut this on 12 by 12 cardstock. Yes! So you see how I just turned it at a diagonal? Eight and a half inches by 11.4, perfect. All right, so this little guy, we're gonna get rid of this and this small little piece. We've got this little hair part. So we can make her hair really pretty. 
we could do i mean i kind of want to do the black glitter cardstock i don't know if that's crazy all right let's go to contour and just leave that small little piece okay so hair is done uh, so yeah, the only thing that's going to be really big is her skirt. So if you're good with using 12 by 24 cardstock, she's going to look amazing at 30 inches. Even if you don't have 12 by 24 cardstock, her skirt, you see how we have all these little stars and I want to add like actually 3d flowers on there. You could easily hide any seams that you would cut. So you don't even have to like intentionally cut it pretty. We can just slice this up and we can figure out the seams. Like I would slice it somewhere right here so that you don't have to cover this seam right here because this is not a seam, right? It's a deliberate um, black outline there. So if we sliced it somewhere up here, you wouldn't even need to cover it. So, all right, let's get to that in a second. So that's her skirt. Oh, there's a pink underneath. Interesting. I am actually, I'm tempted to just get rid of this. And we're not going to have any pink coming through because everything that is coming through will be our flowers. So we have a spot for where the flowers should be. I want to add tissue paper, I'm thinking. So I'm just going to delete this. All right, so now we've got our individual purple. Okay, great. Um, this one we can remove, or not remove, but contour, so that we can have it make sure that it fits on a 11, 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, um, but you know more efficient. And let's see, oh, same thing with here. So interesting. Um, all right, so this one, let's just remove this piece. So I'm gonna duplicate, and then I'm gonna go to contour. And I'm going to remove this piece. So see now this is only nine by two. And then this piece, I'm going to contour and get rid of. I'm selecting all the pieces I want to get rid of. It leaves me just this little guy right here. Um, and so later, like when we go to cut this, we can kind of move those around. This one, one, two, three, four, four pieces. So let's duplicate two, three, four and we're going to hide all and leave one piece at a time. That's a long piece. Okay, contour, hide all. I want the second piece, not the first piece. So you can see how you can do this. Then the next one, contour, hide all. I want the third piece. I don't want that piece. And then the last piece, contour hide all I want this piece. I don't want this piece. It automatically defaults to the top piece. Um, because if everything was removed, then the whole thing would disappear, right? So it always defaults to one left. All right, so we've got the purple. Oh, we've got a purple up here. This piece right here. Oh, hold on. I'll move this back. So this was right here, right? I am going to duplicate these two pieces okay so let's duplicate them um let's contour and get rid of this hand basically I want to use like vellum or um, possibly lace I don't know some or some sort of sheer material but I need an arm here. I don't want this to be a color. I actually want to use, so what I want to do is let's zoom in for a bit and see what we can do. Okay, where's my arm? Okay, here it is. Okay, so I think it goes like this, right? So I want to connect these two and Would I do that? Um, because her arm would come down here. I was thinking, I felt like I had it, but I don't. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Um, let's bring in. You know what? I'm going to bring in this. Okay. 
this is what I'm gonna do first. You know what, I need another copy. I am really winging it right now. Let's duplicate this. I know, you're just like, what in the heck is she doing? All right, this is what we're gonna do. So I feel like her arm would only go, let's see, let me make this, unlock this. I'm gonna extend it a little bit, okay? So basically, I wanna do this. I wanna extend this a little bit longer. Why is this doing this to me? Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm kind of like going along this path, right? And I want her arm. I know, am I like going crazy here? Okay. Oh, what happened? Hold on, undo. Okay, so let's scroll in even more. Okay. Oh, so now I can really see it. Okay. So I want this to line up like that, right? Does this need to, I'm gonna turn this over a little bit so it's more parallel. Okay, all right. Let's slice these two things and see what we get. Okay, so in this purple, what do I want to get rid of? I want to get rid of this. Because that will be her skin, but I feel like that part was more like the flowy part. So, now I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to weld. I want it back together. So that feels more like her arm, right? And then now what I'm gonna do, oh, not text. I'm gonna bring in this little guy again, not the text, okay. I know you guys are I really should figure out how to design this, but of course, like I've told you many, many times before, I am not good at designing. Okay, so I'm gonna weld this. Well, I need one more piece. Let's duplicate this. And I'm basically extending her arm, you see? So I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna cover that up so that we can weld it. Maybe a little bit more. There, that looks good to me. Ah, do not do that. Okay, I'm grabbing all of that and I'm gonna weld it. And I don't know what that little piece is there for. Um, yeah, and I want it brown. So let's make this smaller again. So you see how her arm is now full and then this little piece here is gonna go arrange, send to the front, and it's gonna go like that over the piece, right? And so this little piece will be vellum, uh, lace, I don't know, some kind of see-through-y material in purple, and then her arm will be here. Um, I don't know what that little piece is. We can, I guess we can kind of Let's put some stuff right there and see if it will cover up. So I'm bringing in a circle. Let's get rid of this text because I accidentally hit that, right? Um, let's do this, okay. And let's see if I can, if I weld, can I get rid of that line? And you know, sometimes it's just a glitch and we have to redo it. But let's see, oh, okay, it got rid of it a little bit. So we can just add another piece, weld it right there, which I guess I should do right now. <laughs> um, let's bring in, what would be easier? A little square. Okay, unlock it, make it skinny. Okay. Let's try that we'll have that little piece down there that, I don't know, I'm not, 
I should have had lunch. <laughs> okay, there's a little cut right there. We should zoom in, I know. I mean, you gotta learn how to do this anyway, right? Okay, so for whatever reason, there's a little cut right there. Let's bring in, well, let's bring in this little guy. I'm really not doing a good job right here. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna unlock it, make it thinner, get right in there. Let's see, can I do that? Okay, that looks good. All right, let's grab these two items and weld. Okay, for crying out loud. <laughs> okay, let's see if everything else is easy. Okay, we've got the arm now. We don't need this shorter arm, right? So let's get rid of that. Um, but where is my other, other arm? Oh, my other arms are still there. Okay. So we've got this. All we need is this arm, right? So let's contour. You're like, I didn't sign up for this craziness that I'm about to do. <laughs> um, here's the sleeve. We don't need the sleeve because we've already got it here. Here's a flower and her lips. Okay. So everything is good right let's zoom in and look at this let's see she's 30 inches all right we've got this to deal with so let's go to contour oops no first we're going to break this up into one two three four four pieces so two three four four copies right let's go to our let's go to contour and I am going to hide all, and that leaves me the bottom skirt. So it's 18 inches by 10. So, you know, like I said, it fits on a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock. Let's hide all, but this time I want this. I don't want this. Let's see how big this skirt is. This skirt is 11 by eight, okay. So it's good. Contour, hide all we want. I want this piece and that piece. Oh, and I forgot to get rid of the bottom piece. Contour. Okay. Ah, contour. <laughs> what did I do here? Okay, I don't want this piece and I don't want that work okay good that piece okay so I just need that piece right there so let's go to contour hide all I want just this piece don't want that piece okay so actually now that we've isolated everything let's look at this one um 17 by 10 so I've got to get rid of a good, I, you know what let's slice it right here so the way we're gonna and the reason why I chose that is because the, the rest of this doesn't need to be hidden right I just need to strategically add some flowers right here if we want to um, or not okay because I'm gonna try to make this really really good so let's zoom in and I'm gonna show you how I would do this okay so go to text go to I Love Glitter. Now this is not a system font. This is from Da Font, D-A-F-O-N-T. It's free. So you see the text, it's curvy, right? And check this out. So I don't want this text. I actually want, it's the key to the right of the letter P, okay? It's this little squiggly line. So the reason why I like this squiggly, squiggly line is if you look at her skirt, it's not a straight line. If I wanted to slice this and make it look natural, I can't bring in a, a square and then turn it into a skinny, skinny rectangle so that I can slice, right? But I can do this. Um, let's duplicate this because I want this thinner, right? So I'm going to place this on top of this one, about so, okay? 
hold on let me move this down and I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna slice it so that's how I keep the curve but I make it much thinner so you see I think I like this one I am going to let's see which direction is it going I'm gonna do something like this and I'm gonna continue you see like I'm gonna do that so it's still curvy it looks like it's part of the skirt right I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm going to oops I can't slice because I grabbed more than two items let me see if I can grab just two items there so you see this my slice hold on let me move my face over my slice was grayed out because I had selected more than three let me show you again so I did this I think so slicing is not available when you slice you can only slice two items at a time so I'm slicing the skirt and my little squiggly line I'm gonna hit slice now you're gonna want to just kind of follow along here <laughs> we're gonna get rid of this right uh, yeah because we don't need this on this one let's go to contour and we don't want this piece but we want all those other pieces because we want to slice back oh hold on we don't oh, hold on hold on let me see what else do we need here I need this purple line let's go to contour and I don't want this piece because I want it to be separated right but you see how it sliced out here because our line went too deep right so we got to put it back together so I'm gonna grab this and I'm going to well oops I think I picked up too many things I'm gonna just grab here hit the shift key and I'm gonna weld this skirt back together so now look at it that looks like a natural cut right like it was deliberately in the seams like that so let's duplicate this and now separate it into two pieces so now I don't want this piece and this piece is very Ooh, it's still too big all right but that's okay let's go to contour and let's get rid of this piece so this piece is totally good six by six right we probably should continue it right here this is still 12 by 10.3 so we can slice in between here um same way so let's do that really quickly um right oh i still have this squiggly line you know what delete i'm gonna delete that I'm gonna delete this oh there there's my thin one I'm gonna use this scroll down this one you know it's pretty straight so I'm gonna unlock this and I'm gonna stretch it out so it's a little bit straighter still a little bit of a curve but you see I'm gonna do something like that I'm gonna move a lot arranged into the front And you see how this is gonna let me just tilt this a little bit there I think that's gonna be a really good cut okay so let's grab these two items and slice and we're gonna get rid of this on this one we're gonna, okay now on the purple the purple is the one that we need to contour because we want to just get rid of is it this line no we don't want to get rid of that one. I think it's just that one. Oh, and this top piece up here let's contour let's get rid of this and this so that we can have two separated pieces right the rest of this I think we need to weld and let's go look at this so now let's contour it yeah and it's in two pieces so perfect so now we're going to duplicate this skirt contour get rid of this one and this little mark right there okay so now this panel is six by eight this panel and it looks I to me it really looks good it looks like it's okay I'm going to zoom out I'm going to piece it back together real quick so it was this piece here this piece right here here this piece right here so you see it kind of, it just looks like it's in two three pieces instead of the one piece that it was in okay all right 
We're almost done. We're almost to the finish line. Okay, these must be her eyebrows. I'm gonna move them over. Um, let's save this really quickly before we do that. Um, Isabella, 30 inches. Okay. This one. This is where my grid of squares come in, okay? So I already have it in my images. I'm gonna bring it in. Oh, nope, I wanna go to upload. Here we go. Um, what's nice about my grid of squares is like this, when you first um, do any slicing, like any big slicing off the mat, you don't have to recreate these squares every single time. It's nice to just pop it in. Um, let, the trick is when you pop it in, put it on a whole number. So I'm gonna change this to three and two. So that means it's go over three inches, go down two inches, and this is the start of our grid, okay? We're gonna ungroup it. And then we're gonna go and scroll down and grab her and bring her to the front. Um, what I was gonna say is what's nice about having it um, here is that um, it's already flush together. So this is designed so that when you piece things back together, it's easy to piece it back together. There are no gaps so that it's gonna be as seamless as possible. Every little detail that we can make better than, and we know that there's seams. There's nothing that we can do. We're making it 30 inches. Like it, there, there has to be seams, but we can make it where the seams are unnoticeable. And it starts with the grid of squares. It starts with um, the right materials. It's slicing where we should, right? Things like that. Okay. So now that we have our squares, oops, oh, why did I keep bringing in this text? Well done. Let's delete that. Okay. So this means that there are no seams in her upper body. Awesome. It starts to have seams right around here, right? But this is what I want to do. I think I want to do this. I want to grab, and this is why it's nice to have, oops, to have the grid on a whole number because um, we can move things and still make sure that it's totally aligned. So you see, I'm gonna do this so that it's gonna cut right down the middle where all her skirts are and her blouse and it's gonna look great. So this is going, she's gonna be in five, oh geez, what did I just do? Let me undo it real quick. I accidentally hit, what did I do? Okay, let's get rid of this and this. And let's make sure that everything is still good. This is at 11, 14 and two. So see this shifted. This should be at 13. That's how it just looked a little weird to me. So let's look at all of these. Oh yeah, I don't know. I think it's just because I'm like kind of shaky and I accidentally moved these things without realizing. So when you have it on a whole number, it's super easy to tell when things have shifted. Oops, no, that needs to be at 24. See? Okay, now we're gonna slice, okay? Um, so the grid of squares, you can get that on my website, theuselesscrafter.com. You can get it for free by signing up for my newsletter. I promise you I'm not sending out a lot of newsletters. I've yet to send out my first one. But if you're still uncomfortable, you can buy it. Oh man, Design Space is acting up. Where are my squares? I'm still gonna slice. I'm gonna see what happens. Okay, so here she is. So now she's in pieces that we can cut on the Cricut, right? Um, or you can buy it on my website, sorry. I'm getting so distracted trying to finish this up. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, she's gonna look so good. All right, so that's the total design space tutorial. I hope that all made sense. Um, let me know what you wanna see, but I'm gonna cut her and we're gonna make it look beautiful. All right, see you guys next time, bye.